Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a coin that basically picks up whenever you touch it. So, let's just get right into it. So, the first thing you want to do is go under the View tab and open up the Explore and Properties. After that, we're going to need to create our actual coin. So, you can do that by going into the Model tab, and then over here under Part, just click that little arrow. And then there should be like a little cylinder thing. Just click that and it'll insert in a cylinder. Once you have this part in, you can go under the Explore. Let's just quickly name this to our coin. So once we have this coin in here, we can use the model tab once again and then select on scale. And then we can basically just bring this down to the ground. And then we can use the rotate to rotate it on its side, just like that. And then we can use the move to move it up and just put it right there. So this is our little coin. Uh, if you want to color it, you can just click on it. And then under the properties of it, see where brick color is. Just click that and change it to a color you like. So probably just going to be yellow. And then you can play around with some other things like if you want the coin to have shadow or not. The material used. Uh, and then another one you probably want to change is down here. There's a property called Anchored. Um, if you check that, basically the coin will stay in place instead of uh, having physics. If you need a reference for how big your coin is, you can go under the avatar and then go under Rig Builder and then just click on any of these. And then it will bring in a avatar so you can kind of see how big the coin is compared to a regular Roblox avatar. So now that we have the coin in our game, we need to create a leader stat um, for this coin to work uh, because we're trying to gain cash. And if you don't have a leader stats, we can't really give cash. If you already have a leader stats, then you can skip onto the time on the screen right now. Um, if you don't, you can just we'll quickly create one right now. So under the explore, find the server script service, click the plus and enter any script. Let's rename the script to something like leader stats. And then you can now write what I write. So this is just going to be a very simple leader stats script. So game dot players dot player added colon connect function put in brackets. Let's write in something like player. And then we can write player dot character added colon wait. So this just waits a little bit before we do anything to the player. And then we can now create our leader stats. So this is going to be local leader stats equals to instance.new. We're going to create a new folder. So put in quotation marks, write in folder. And after the quotation marks, we're going to put a comma. And then we're just going to write player. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so it's easier to see. So we're going to create a new folder and then we're going to put it under our player. And then we need to name this leader stats. So leader stats dot name equals to and then put in quotation marks. And this is really important. Make sure it's a leader stats spelled exactly like this with the lowercase L. So it should look exactly like this. If it's not, then Roblox will not recognize it as leader stats. Once we have the leader stats, we need to create a coin value. So we can do something like local. This could be like cash, points, money, whatever you want. I'm just going to name mine cash. So local cash equals to instance.new. And then this time we're going to create a new int value. So put in quotation marks and write in value. And outside the quotation marks, put a comma. And this time just write in leader stats. So this time we're going to be putting the int value under our leader stats. We need to give it a name. So cash.name. And I'm just going to name this to cash. Um, and then we can give it a starting value. This is optional. Like you can do something like cash dot value equals to 100. Then when the player joins, they'll automatically just have 100. Um, if you don't have any or like you don't want them starting with cash, you don't need to write that in. And um, if you want, we can just keep everything consistent. So we'll make all the caches capitalized right here, just like that. So yeah, a uh, really simple leader stat script. It's not that complicated. So if we join the game right now, uh, you can see on the top right of the screen, we just have the name and then we have our cash leader stats. So once we have the leader stats done, we can come back to our coin. Under the coin, under the explore, we just click the plus 
enter any script and then let's call this um, collect and then you can write what I write so we're gonna start off with some variables so local coin equals to script parent that's uh, pretty much all we're gonna do and then we can just start scripting the coin so coin dot touched coin connect function put in brackets and write in hit and then hit is like what actually hits the coin so we're just gonna check if it's a player so if hit dot parent colon find first child and then we're gonna check for a humanoid then uh, we're gonna check for a humanoid because only like npcs and characters have humanoids in them so if the thing that hits it does have a humanoid inside of it then we can get uh, the player um, from the character so it can be something like local char we can go char for character equals to hit dot parent we're gonna go down the line and then we're gonna write local player equals to game colon get service and then we're gonna put in quotation marks write player then colon get to player from character so i'm just gonna zoom out just a little bit and then the character that is our char so this line might look just a little confusing but basically to get the player we're going to retrieve it from the list of players and we're going to use a function called get player from characters um, which will get you the player if you have the character which we do have and once we have that we can find the leader stats of this player so local leader stats equals to player colon find first child and we're just going to be finding the leader stats and then finally we can give cash to the player um if leader stats then so we're going to check if there is a leader stat then we can give cash so leader stat dot cash dot value plus equal and then here you can just write how much cash you want to give to the player so let's go something like i'll give 50 cash just like that um, and then if you want we can destroy the coin so the coin is just gone and we can do that by writing something like coin on destroy so if we go test it out right now right now we have 100 cash in the leader stats if we walk up to the coin just like that we collect the coin the coin disappears and we gain 50 cash now some people um may not want the coin to disappear fully uh, which is fine uh, so instead of writing coin colon destroy we can just hide the coin and make it invisible and then we can write something like coin dot transparency equals to one so this will hide the coin then go down the line and then write coin dot can collide equals to false so this will make sure that nothing can touch the coin within that timeline and then go down the line and then you can write task dot wait and this will be your cooldown for how long you want your coin to be hidden so if i write something like 10 then it will wait 10 seconds after that go down the line and then now we're just going to reverse all those operations so coin dot transparency equals to zero this will show the, the coin again and then go down the line coin dot can collide equals to true and then if you want uh this to work uh we're gonna have to add in like a like a manual debounce check so under the variables just write in local touched equals to false and then after coin dot touched we can just go down the line and then we can write something like if not touched then and then go down the line and write touched equals to true so this just pretty much just uh gives like an extra check if the player has touched the coin or not so we don't end up accidentally collecting the coin twice and then you can just copy everything from this end to this if hit dot parent statement and then just make sure that you paste it after the touched equals to true and then after this end just go down the line and then write touched equals to false and that should be it so if we test it out this time we can go over to the coin over here as you can see i have my 100 cash the coin is right there if i just walk over it just like that the coin is now gone and i have gained my 50 cash and now i have to wait 10 seconds before the coin reappears and i can collect it again so as you can see right there the coin has reappeared and I can go collect that coin again. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you'd like to see how to customize this coin, for example, 
uh, instead of it just being like still right there you can make it like rotate you can play a sound when you collect it or even give like a random amount of cash then i'll leave a video down in the description the pinned comment and at the end screen of this video and you can follow that tutorial and customize your coin until then i'll see you guys next time bye